Your last race here at Goodwood, it's the one mile four furlong Glenvin Owens Brown Handicap. It's for horses rated up to 100 here and another pretty decent size field. Three year old horses in it. We've got Duchess of Epsom for Paul Rhodes, Prim and Proper for Ryan Tamasevi, Soldier Gal Satyam, The Best of Us, Joshua Sutherland, Ribchester for Darren Thompson, Aristotle Ryan Tamasevi, Gemstone for Obi Wan, Queen to Be David Hooley, Sandbar Martin Leadham. Tomodachi Magique for Steve Rand, that's your favourite. Run out of names, Craig Beckwith. Yakuta Pandora, Alex Ince. Rise All Star, Thomas Rogers. Royal Correspondent, Jim Murray. Tyrol Fabulous, Dan Hughes. Saltoro and Baltoro, Michael Scala. Not got to the final three there. Ryan Costello had a runner. Apologies for that. The race car disappeared as they are off and running here at Goodwood. So a pretty big field. Dr. Blonde there, we've got, is one of the ones I missed off uh, for Ryan Costello as well as Eileen Donan, and those ones are towards the rear of the field, the back of the pack at the moment. In the early lead, we've got uh, Baltoro, one of Michael Scala's runners. He's got Baltoro and Saltoro in the race, both in the same silk, so I'm going to have to watch out and make sure I can distinguish between those two. But it's the best of us that's gone out into the early lead in those black and red hooped silks, the striped silks for Joshua Sutherland. One of your shorter prices here for that handicap. Uh, and that one's racing up alongside Baltoro, Dr. Sodog, uh, on the outside of those in those purple silks. And a gap back to Royal Correspondent, who's racing alongside Ribchester and Tomodachi Magique. That's your favourite for this race. Uh, that one's in the green silks with the pink cap and the white sleeves. Just racing in about sixth position at the moment as they come into the final seven and a half furlongs. We're about to come to the seventh furlong marker now, in fact, and it's the best of us and Baltoro still ticking along in front. About a half a length in front of Dr. Sodog, and then a break of a few lengths back to Royal Correspondent, Tomodachi Majik and Ribchester. Tyrol Fabulous in just behind those. Eileen Donan's making progress, but very wide. And another one having a run really wide there is Sanbar and Yakuta Pandora as well. Towards the rear of the field, we've got Rise All-Star, Duchess of Epsom and Gemstone. Uh, Duchess of Epsom is tight on the rail, as is Prim and Proper and Aristotle. So they've got a lot of horses in front of them. They're going to have to find that racing room in the final four and a half furlongs but the best of us has now kicked on and moved away from Baltoro and it's Ribchester for Darren Thompson that's moving up to try and chase that long time leader as is Tyrol Fabulous for Dan Hughes Baltoro still being ridden pretty patiently not the jockey's now just getting to work now and it's Saltoro for the same jockey that's making progress on the wide outside looking for the favourite Tomodachi Majik is making smooth progress on the wide outside as is Aristotle's trying to get in this race in the red and blue silk so we're into the final two furlongs and things are changing quite quickly here as Tyrol Fabulous has now gone into the lead from the best of us. And there's a gap now to Royal Correspondent who's starting to really get into this as is Queen to be. Dr. Sodog's now making some progress again. Looking for any others. Sandbar's trying to get into this and staying on but we're into the final furlong and Royal Correspondent is moving away, kicking away from them here. Tyrol Fabulous, they're all looking a bit one-paced in behind. Duchess of Epsom, Aristotle are trying to make some progress on the outside but Royal Correspondent turned it into a procession. Looked like we were going to have a really competitive handicap here and Jim Murray's horse has just absolutely flown away from them all, kicked away from them and won this by a good five lengths in the end. Royal correspondent Tyrol Fabulous in second place. Uh, we're over towards the rail for Dan Hughes. It, Aristotle's got third place for Ryan Tamasebi. Two of the outside runners there. Queen to be stayed on into fourth for David Hooley and Duchess of Epsom, who was last on a long way, uh, ended up finishing fifth for Paul Rhodes.